And chance of defense here from the fans of Nagoya. Trying to get away inside and the first point for the season will be there belonging to Yudai Nishida. Saito left open for three. Bang! Parks with a handoff. Nice, strong, and slam there. Slicing the double team, getting past Lauren. Definitely not the strategy here of Coach Suzuki. Etherton puts that one up. That was poor defense here from Seahorses Mikawa to just six. It's five because of that long three. And Harimoto scores quickly inside. Clark from the corner. Yes. Clark kisses it off the glass. It's now a 12 point advantage here for Nagoya at 39 27. No attack here from Nagoya. Back to Saito. That's a perfect pass. That's just too easy there for Endure. With the boys in red. Nice sidestepping move. That's going to work there for Lawrence. Still a lot of time on their shot clock. Endure. Clark inside, pumps a little bit and then slams it through. And of course the action once again, there's a double team up high. Almost a steal, it's completed. Yes it is, in the open court, Clark. Behind the back pass, and a slam there for Vendor. How about a broadcaster's jinx? That one worked 100%. Here comes Davante Gardner inside. Nishida now with 14 points. Easy there, shot there. That's going to be a slam for Scott Etherton. That had to be hoisted. Shot clock was winding down. Cody Clark inside. That's too easy. And the lead is back up to 16. No time to panic here yet for Seahorses, but they've got a score. And that three point play is going to help their cause. Foul might be called there on Ray Parks. Gardner has had a very quiet night. He has seven rebounds though, but he's they might even opt to take the turnover. But they'll take the shot anyhow. That's gonna drop there for the Nagoya Diamond Dolphins and Mikawa match. They're not gonna take a shot. That's gonna be your final score 101 86.